Hello 3E and welcome to your new unit. Uh, we're going to be talking about payroll deductions today um, and for the rest of this unit we're going to be talking uh, about different things involved in your paycheck. Uh, so our, our topic today is payroll deductions and our goal, I know what kind of deductions may be taken off my paycheck and I know for what purposes they are collected. So there's going to be a little bit more writing on this one because we're talking about a whole bunch of definitions uh, and I think you will probably learn them a little better if you have to write them down at least once. Um, so there's some blanks that you have to fill in for that and I will be talking about what each of these deductions are. So uh, we live in a society where certain expenses, some things that are hard to pay for as an individual um, because man become, oh that's a, that should say become, become manageable when money is pooled from all people living and working in an area. Because of this amounts of money are collected by our employers to put towards these causes. So when I say things are collected um, for, or costs become manageable. I'm talking about things like uh, education. You can get an education and you get an education for free, although it's not actually free. Everybody working and earning is paying for your education. Um, same with upkeep on your roads, uh, hospitals. Um, there's all kinds of stuff that we pool our money together to take care of as a society uh, because as an individual we wouldn't be able to do that. We wouldn't be able, it would be really expensive for instance to get your road paved um, at, in front of your house um, but since we pool all of our money and, and other people use that road um, we put it all <clears throat> put it all together and uh, collect it and it's easier to pay for. So there are a few definitions you need to know uh, before we work on this unit. So here's a bunch of them. Uh, first one is a social insurance number and some of you may already have a card that looks vaguely like this uh, except it'll have your name here and a number specific to you right here um, and an expiry date although not all of them have an expiry date on it. Mine didn't expire. So for social insurance, it's a number issued to all Canadians to identify them for government programs. You need a social insurance number to get a job. Um, that's They keep track of deductions and stuff uh, via your social insurance number. Uh, if you need to put this on pause, I'm not going to pause uh, as I go along, I'm just going to zip right through it. If you need to put this on pause to copy these things down, please by all means do so. Uh, your gross pay, now there's two different types of pay, there's gross pay and net pay. Now what we um, calculated in the last unit was gross pay, your employment earnings before anything is deducted. Uh, we were calculating gross pay in the previous unit. Okay. Uh, now net pay is what you get to take home. So it's also known as take home pay. This is the amount of money left after all deductions have been subtracted. So this is what you get to take home at the end of the day. Some kinds of deductions. Income tax is a big one. <clears throat> Earnings collected by the government to pay for services that the government supplies for us. Uh, income tax is collected for both provincial and federal governments. Uh, employment insurance. A government program that all working people pay into, if you ever lose a job and it isn't your fault, you may collect EI payments to help with the, your expenses while you're finding another job. Uh, so if you get fired, you can't collect EI, but if your job, if your job loss is not your fault, like for instance the company uh, went bankrupt or they were downsizing and you lost your job, um, things like that, <clears throat> then you collect employment insurance until you can find another job and once you find another job then you can no longer collect it um, and you start paying back into it. The Canadian Pension Plan. A pool of money collected by the government to pay out at retirement. All employees pay it and all employees collect it once a month at retirement. Uh, your benefit package. Now this one is not collected by everybody. 
This happens in some companies. Uh, it's a plan to help cover medical costs not provided for by the Ontario Health Insurance Plan. Uh, this could include uh, chiropractor fees, dental fees, optometrist care, uh, physiotherapy, etc. Some um, some things, some plans cover massage therapy. Some plans cover things like acupuncture. So there's all kinds of different things involved in this one. A portion of the package is paid by the employer, and the rest is deducted from the employee paycheck. Pension plan. In addition to the Canadian pension plan that we talked about up here, um, you could have a company pension plan or some sort of other retirement savings plan. Um, so it is money deducted and invested on the employee's behalf to save for retirement costs. And I should have a little apostrophe there. Uh, union dues. Some jobs have an organized labor force that negotiates and deals with the employer for all employees. Money is collected, which are called dues, to help with costs involved in running the union. Okay, so in there's certain groups in some in some job sites uh, that organize, and there's a head of that union that does the negotiation for you, so that you don't talk directly to your employer on things like um, your salary or your benefits. Payroll savings plan. You may be able to take part in a savings plan where a small amount of money is taken from your pay and invested in a program for you. Uh, so maybe you want to save for retirement yourself um, so you can get involved in a payment in a savings plan. Uh, and it doesn't seem like you're uh, saving at all if it's taken directly from your paycheck before you even see it uh, and is part of your is part of your gross pay but not part of your net pay so um, you never ever really see it and then it's just taken invested for you uh, and the last thing charitable donations some companies agree to collect a dona donations for charities like the United Way uh, you can have a few dollars taken from each of your paychecks and donated on your behalf uh, and then at tax time you can um, deduct that off of your uh, income tax and and get some savings that way. Uh, so let's look at an example here. It says example one, Sean makes $12.50 an hour uh, for a 40 hour work week. Now this, when we say that, this is gross. And I don't mean that it's yucky. I mean that that's gross pay. And this is what we we're calculating last time. And then he has a bunch of deductions coming off. So we want to figure out what his net pay is. Uh, and I didn't even actually ask that question. Um, but that's <laughs> what we're trying to do is trying to figure out what his net pay is. So the first thing we have to do is figure out what his gross pay is. And this is the same stuff that we were calculating in the last unit. So gross pay, he works $12, he works for $12.50 an hour and he works for 40 hours. So we need to do $12.50 times 40. So let's pull up a calculator here. $12.50 times 40 is $500 for the week. So that's his gross pay. And now he has a bunch of these deductions. Now this is just, all of these things are just straight taken off his, uh, his pay. So we need to add up all the deductions. So deductions. equals and we just add them all up. So he's got $9.82 for EI plus $14.67 for CPP plus $48.27 for income tax plus $10.82 for the company pension plan uh, plus $12.15 for the company health plan and then another $3 as a charitable donation. And so we're just going to add that up right there. Now if we add that up, it's $98.73, I think. Yeah, let's just double check that. Yep. $98.73 in total. So this is deducted from his pay. Now a deduction in math means subtract. So when we deduct something, 
we subtract it off what we're working on, what we have. So for net pay, net pay, we take our gross pay and we subtract all of our deductions. And we've already added up all of our deductions, so we just have to subtract them off of our gross pay. So I take the $500 and I subtract off $98.73. And that simple calculation, $500 subtract $98.73. That's it. 4127. So that's 40127. So we can say therefore his gross pay or sorry, his net pay is $401.27. Now you have a selection of these to calculate. You have quite a few actually, um, but uh, and there's a career focus thing that I want you to work on as well. Um, so that concludes our lesson on um, payroll deductions.